there are no prizes for figuring out why this carriage clock is not working. The mainspring is broken. I actually heard it go. I was walking past and it went zoom like that, like zoom, like help me, Mr. Watchmaker. My mainspring just broke and I need you to fix me. Anyway, this is where it lives. Uh, so it's looking a bit empty at the moment and I have fitted a new spring and I've cleaned all the components. They've all been through the ultrasonic cleaner and I have polished and lacquered the case. And this little carriage clock has a thing called a cylinder escapement and I'll deal with that in detail when we get to it. So let's put this lovely clock back together and make it work again.
So I am definitely not happy with this click. It's supposed to be a nice bit of shiny stainless steel, but it's it's a bit rough looking. So we're gonna, we're gonna go the extra mile now and shine it up and we need to be able to hold it in a pin vise. So let's uh, get a bolt to go through the middle and a nut to hold it. And then we can put it into the pin vise. So just put it together and pop it in the pin vise. Ah, we now have a bit of a problem because it is too big to go into the pin vise. So now I don't have any more bolts. So the thing to do is just pop one of these bolts quickly onto my lathe and take down the diameter. And there we are, there is the new bolt. I'm just gonna snip this off now, just snip it off, snip it off, and then it will fit into the pin vise. And there we go, nice. So before I continue with the restoration of this lovely old carriage clock, I just want to show you this, because this is the watch that I make under my own brand Major, which was my rank when I left the British Army. It's called the Seawolf and isn't it pretty? Anyway, check out the link in the description.
Okay, so that's all the kind of agricultural heavy metal stuff over and it's time now to get into the escapement. We need to make sure that the jewels for the balance are really nice and clean. So the first thing we're going to do is take out the capstone on this little escapement platform. Uh, these were really, really nicely made by the Victorians. Just going to lift up the capstone uh, locating plate there and turn it over. Uh, I have cleaned it already in the ultrasonic so uh, just gonna put a little bit of oil with the automatic oiler there on the capstone itself. And place it back onto the jewel where the bottom end of the balance will be spinning. Relocate The screw and screw it in. We also need to lubricate the jewels for the escape wheel. So just doing that now. And placing in the escape wheel. Now onto the balance itself. We first got to remove the balance. There's this tiny little, there's this tiny little post that you have to remove there. And then just gently pull the hairspring. You have to be very careful when you're working with the balance here. Release the regulation pin, guard, and carefully, very carefully pull the balance away. So what we're going to do now is liberate the regulation lever and the top balance capstone because that needs cleaning as well. And it just falls away there. Now for those of you who are familiar with Rolex and stuff like that, the uh, the shape of the capstone will amuse you. It's like a capuchon. It's huge. Look at that thing. There we are. Take away the regulation lever. Take away the screws. And now we're going to clean the top part of the balance, the balance cock and the jewel with some B dip. Give that a bit of agitation with the blower. Now you have to be pretty careful here. Place back the jewel. Put some lubrication on it. Replace the regulation lever. And lay the balance cock over the top. And when I've done that, I would just replace the screws and then on we go. Okay, so I just need to turn the hairspring very slightly in relation to balance to keep the balance in B and there are some markings that I will show you later that help you do this. So on the cylinder escapement balance, you'll see this tiny little dot on the edge of the balance wheel. And that's really important because that's going to help you set the balance in B. The first thing that you need to do is place the balance onto the platform. We'll do that first, nice and carefully. Secure it with the screw. 
And now you're gonna to have to check the alignment of that little dot with three dots that are placed for that purpose on the escapement platform. And what you're looking for is the dot on the balance to line up with the dot, the middle dot on the platform and then your escapement will be in B. Oh, that is nice, that is going. It's going nice and strongly actually and we just need to check that it is going uh, in all locations. So most of the time the balance will be horizontal but the whole idea of a carriage clock is that you can carry it around. So we need to make sure that the amplitude is good in, you know, uh, all the positions really. Just zooming in on that cylinder escapement. 